Welcome to Spielberg for another exciting Formula One race. This circuit is renowned for its backdrop, surrounded by natural beauty. Well, it certainly is an idyllic destination for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then, with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here today but I'm curious as a man with experience out on the track how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one it's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous those pre-race nerves are a good thing the day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore and of course you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity with the race minutes away from starting here's what today's grid rundown looks like a fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday puts him on pole with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside looking down the rest of the grid we have Bottas Verstappen Lewis Hamilton and Albon Sainz, Norris, Grosjean, and Daniel Ricciardo. Stroll, Magnussen, Sergio Perez, and Ocon. Gasly, Giovinazzi, Nicholas Latifi, and George Russell. Kvyat, and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Fantastic team effort to secure victory here in the Styrian Alps. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.